came up with this idea for a story when I began to sort of realize the way that we are always talking about numbers. So numbers come in to our, into our daily life all the time. And I was just thinking about when you walk a really, really small child to the shops and you might start counting how many steps you take or you might count how many stairs there are in your house or how many spoonfuls of dinner you need to eat before you're allowed to get down from the table and how many minutes you might be allowed to watch something on TV. And I thought it would make a really nice story and a lovely conversation between Charlie and Lola. I have this little sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. Sometimes for a treat, mum says, we're going to the shops and you may choose one thing. One thing each, I say, or one thing between two. And mum says, each. I say to Lola, we're going to the shops and we're allowed to choose one thing. One thing to share, says Lola. I say one thing each, which means two actual things. Two things, says Lola. Two things between two, I say. Two divided by two equals one. One for me and one for you. Mum says we must be ready in 10 minutes. It takes me three minutes to clean my teeth. One minute to remember that I've forgotten to eat breakfast. Four minutes to eat my puffer pops. Three minutes to clean my teeth again. And eight minutes to find Lola's left shoe. Three plus one plus four plus three plus eight equals 19. That makes us nine minutes late. 19 minus 10 equals nine minutes late. Lola shouts, I just need to do something. I say, what thing? She says, one thing. I say, but we don't have time. She says, I'll be half of a second. This is not true because after two whole minutes, which is in fact 120 seconds, I go into our room to find Lola. What are you doing, I say. Lola says, I'm just trying to count the dots on my dress, but I'm not sure what comes after 12. I say, missing going to the shops comes after 12. Oh, says Lola, hurry up. I'm running like mad and Lola is counting ladybirds on the path. She says, there are at least 50 or 2017. How many shoes would 50 or 2017 ladybirds need, Charlie? I say, none, ladybirds don't wear shoes. What about socks, says Lola? Nope, they never wear socks. It must be very ouchy, says Lola. When we walk past the water meadow, we are followed by several ducks. How many ducks are following us, asks Lola? Three, I say. Lola finds half a biscuit in her coat pocket and starts feeding them crumbs. How many now, she says. I say, three ducks, seven pigeons, five wading birds, four swans, two geese, and one flapping bird. Three plus seven plus five plus four plus two plus one equals 22. Run, shouts Lola. Lola looks up at the sky and she says, look at all those singing birds. There are one, two, five, seven, 20, 16, 11, 9 birds singing. And I say, no, Lola, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's what I said, she says. I said nine. I say, well, if you're so good at counting, then how many leaves are there on that tree? A hundred, says Lola. Nearly at least. I say there are more than a hundred, more than a thousand even. How many is a thousand, says Lola. Ten hundreds make a thousand, I say. Ten times one hundred equals one thousand. And is a thousand the most, says Lola. I say no, then there is a million. And that is a thousand times more. And is a million more than the rain, says Lola. No, the rain is probably a billion, I say. Or maybe even a trillion. Or a squillion, says Lola. I say, I don't know if a squillion is a number. It takes us 156 steps to walk to the shops. When we get there, Mum says, you may choose one thing. And Lola says, three things. And Mum says, one thing. And Lola says, two things. And Mum says, how about no things? And Lola says, how about one thing? And Mum says, all right, one thing. And Lola says, yes, one thing. I spend three minutes looking at the comics and two minutes looking at the badges and I make up my mind in five seconds. 
I choose the six badges. Lola is still looking. After 11 minutes, mum says, hurry up, Lola, we are leaving in one minute. Two minutes later, Lola chooses 12 stickers. On the way home, Lola sticks five stickers on the pavement, three on a tree and two on her shoes, one on me, and she even sticks one on Ma's dog. By the time we get to our flat, there are no stickers left, none. We have been home for four minutes and Lola says, please, can I have one of your badges, Charlie? And I say, okay, you can have one. She says, maybe perhaps even three. And I say, one. And she says, or oh, two. And I say, how about none? And she says, okay, yes, please, one. I'm a numbers person and we're all numbers people. 